Good morning, good morning. It is harvest day, baby. It is July. We have got some red equipment. Oh, and I'm super, uh, super excited. Let's do it, man. So we've got two different fields to rock and roll here. We've got canola on field two. We got oats on field three. Yes, we're going to bail up all of the straw. And we're going to take care of that. Oh, it's going to be a fun day today. So right here on field number two, I've got our old school 2588 rocket roll in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I do want to make sure that the straw swath is enabled. And I got to run me a couple headlands on this real quick. We're going to do this field first because, well, I think it'll pay off less. Actually, should we do the other field first? Let's do the other field first. Yeah, this might be a little bit better. I think overall we're going to be able to get a better, a better hit off of it. Alt zero, that way we get ourselves a little bit. What, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean I gotta fold? What am I, what am I folding? I just, man, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there we go. Hey, at least we're rocking and rolling here. Let's do it. Um, if you guys don't remember, we did kind of cut up this field a little bit. So there's no longer this like jetty going down in. I also cut out this section, this section, and this section down here. So that is what we've got. We've got kind of a, a nice squared off field. We could probably rock and delete all of this as well. I don't know. What do you think? Should we or should we leave it? I think it gives it character. Of course, when we get down here to the ends, you do need to slow it down a little bit if you go quick because, well, it'll just keep going because it don't give a crap. There we go. Got it. And this is what excites me the most about this field right here. I just got to hire the worker and he just, man, he just goes straight through here. Oh, it's so nice and easy. And then when we get down right here, we'll slow the uh, combine harvester down a little bit more. He gets close over here to our big old tree that I put down that cost me $4,000 uh, at the time. I think I only had like 80 grand, something like that. I don't know. It's in one of the previous episodes. Yeah, that was an expensive tree, bruh. So this is the area right here that I was actually talking about. We got a couple little trees here, I don't know, five or six trees, and then we got this little building. Now, I don't really use that building for anything. I could delete it and put something else down. Actually, I don't even know if I can delete it. Can I? Yeah, yeah, we can. Then we get 61 grand for it, or 6,100 bucks for it as well. That's not bad. I could just go through and delete all these trees, and we can make one big square field. But do we want to? I'm not sure if that's something that I really want to do or not. I just feel like having it the way it is right now. I've already taken away all of the other character of this field. This, this is kind of nice. It keeps this field being less of just a big square boring field and eh, gives a little something something. Plus, maybe uh, going forward, we could play something down there. Maybe a small production or uh, maybe a spinnery. I don't know, something like that. We'll figure it out. Headland one to two is done. Yes, we run two headlands on pretty much every single field. Used to, I would run three, especially on smaller combines. But uh, here, eh, I think two would be perfectly fine for this field. And there we go. There are our two headlands on this field. So now, all I gotta do is hire a worker and let him rock and roll. We will need to cart for this guy eventually, but it ain't right now. So you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. What I do need to worry about is how to find my other combine. Oh, it just sounds so good when you start it up. We'll do one more double check, make sure we're good with everything. Yeah, disable straw swath is on and a little alt zero never hurt anybody. And rock and roll. Go ahead and hire a worker on this thing. They both go about the same speed, but this one's got a much, much smaller header on it. Actually, this has got the base game header. We might upgrade this header to the, uh, yeah, we, we might upgrade this, I think, at some point. Also, I'm not playing on the update yet. Uh, I'm going to take a lot of time to actually update everything because I've got to update the map. Then I've got to go in and modify some things. It's going to take some time. So I think I'm just going to wait for now and just keep playing on the pre-release for the update. Oh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. There we go. This is another one of those little spots that I think I'm gonna cut out after we harvest this field, or maybe in the next version of the map that I load up. I'm gonna have to get rid of this little pomp right here. There's just a little bit. I think I'm just gonna chop it right there, make it a flat area. Also, somebody told me that this hedge actually has like a little a, a trigger in it somewhere, but I don't know where. So I'm just, wait. 
Nope. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Back. Back. Nope. Oh, well. Never. Never. I did it the wrong way. Oops. Back away. I have to run into two headlands. One last thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to run one more little bit right here at the top of this field. And I'm going to hire the worker actually on the longest side down here. Normally, I would do this on the other side of the field. And that's where I've done it for this entire series. But today, we're going to be different. Why not? And there we go. Worker has been hired and he gonna do his job. So he's 22% on there. Take a look at this guy. Ooh, 74%. We might need to find ourselves a little way to come in here and get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of carting action done. Maybe just a little bit. Oh yeah. Actually, I need to do more than carting right here. I gotta hire this or stop this idiot worker right there. Got him. Stopped. All right, cool. And then I gotta go straight. I don't know how in the world I'm going to figure out how to go straight right here. Maybe just don't turn? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this bad boy down right over here. Maybe do a little bit of overlap. There we go. There's that. Drop the straw, and then we'll spin it around. And I think we might be able to hire an older worker going the other way and not have any issues. I'm not. Man, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. Yeah, so he's gonna miss that little spot right there, but at least I know on the next run through he will get it and we can hire the worker there and be done with it. Now, let's see if we can catch up to this dude to unload a little bit. We do have a pretty, pretty big capacity right through here as well. Oh man, I should have used the big bag. That would have been way cooler. Nah, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. We'll go ahead and get everything. Oh, come on. Dumped in this trailer right here. Come on, TLX. You can do this. You can do this! So I'm kind of at a crossroads here. I think it's really obvious that we need to do something with a baler, but I still don't know, is the selectable bell capacity mod gonna be the one that we wanna go with? Or do we wanna go with the big windrow with the uh, R90 or something? Let's, yeah, the R90. Do we wanna go with this? This will make bailing faster because once we get down to the ends and everything, well, we could just boop and hit it and be done. However, if we go with the other one, uh, we will have to hit those ends twice, but we will have to pick up like 10 bales <laughs> instead of like 100. Uh, but I don't pick the bales up anyway. What do I do? All right, made my decision. I'm going to be going with this. Now, there's a reason that I'm going to go with this as well. Because, ooh, there's a blackout version? What? Maybe there's two reasons now I'm getting. Uh, the reason that I'm going to go with this is because I can use normal bales with this. I could just use a normal, normal bell trailer, pick up the bales, do whatever I need to do. Let's go ahead and set this idiot on the right way. Uh, it's more expensive, but you know what? It'll be what it is. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy, take it off. Boom, there you go. Which I guess means we really don't need this baler anymore, do we? We'll keep it around, but because of course we're not selling things unless it's you know really really a, a point to sell it kind of drop that off there we'll use this Ooh, something else i need this thing's a little bit heavy uh i need some fuel man i've got like a half three quarters something i don't less fuel than i need there we go there we go that is what i'm talking about man yes sir we're gonna go around here but i'm gonna i think we're gonna go ahead and just start bailing I mean, there's really nothing else to do, I guess. We'll go ahead and turn on the help window as well because I need to make sure that I'm doing 240 centimeter bales, the biggest ones I possibly can. Oh, we need it. Put it down. <laughs> Rock and roll, man. Let's do it. Uh, the one thing about these balers, at least that I've seen in the past, is sometimes if you overwork them a little bit, they miss stuff. They like to bounce a little bit. The other baler that I've got, that Corona, it don't do that. So... I'm going to be interested to see, is this going to bounce any? Am I going to have any problems with this? Or is this going to be exactly what I wanted? Also, we're going to have a bit of a problem when we get down here to the end as well. I'll show you right here. So we've got this big chunk. we got to slow down. And as you can see, we miss some. Every time. We miss some. Why? I feel like I've just wasted my money on this baler just because I wanted to have the big one. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's just going through and missing quite a bit. And also, I can't take turns to save my life. 
I can hit little spots in the corners like that, though. That's kind of nice. You know what? Honestly, I think I'm just going to kick these bales out. And I'm just going to go buy the other baler. I, ugh, man, I almost feel like I wasted my money on this thing. And so we go with this one, the selectable bell capacity mod. Do like it. Uh, it doesn't have the customization that the other one did. We don't have a black version, nothing cool, nothing like that. But you know what? I think it'll be fine. There we go. We've got it uh, purchased. Also, you know what? While we're at it, I do have another idea. So we can get the R90, but as a front piece instead of a rear piece. So what if we did that? What if we got this? We go case IH red on there. Design, we go like a normal onyx. That looks good. Rim colors, light gray. What if we went with something like this? Put it on the front. Maybe, just maybe, it'll actually do what I want it to do. I don't know. Give it a trip. Where's my tractor? Oh, there it is. So this will be a little bit interesting, but we have this piece on the front. We have the baler on the back. I basically have the other mod, but as two separate mods now. And maybe, just maybe, once we get down to the end, we could actually do things the right way. All right, we'll keep that drop down. We'll turn it on. So no matter where we go now, it's going to push a windrow in. We want to go ahead and open that up. Set this to 244 centimeter bales. 244, there we go. Turn it on, drop it down, and go. Now, I'm not sure if we will miss any or not, but at least if we do, it'll be a little bit easier to manage. But it is nice because I can drift off to the left, drift off to the right. And I'm still making bales. These bales, I believe, are like 30,000 liters. It's it's ridiculous, man. How are we going to do when we get down here to the end, though? That's that's what my biggest uh, intrigue is, I guess. Uh, it didn't, didn't quite do what I wanted it to do there, but I guess it's fine. And then we'll just turn it back on here at the end. It, it did okay. It didn't do great. So I'm thinking maybe this thing on the front just ain't ain't worth it so we'll get rid of it <laughs> i think i've gone through a lot of money here recently but you know what it'll be fine we'll be okay oh boy i'm already missing spots aren't i uh-huh sure am all right why can't why can't all the balers just be like the crown it's so good all right don't judge me but i went and purchased this again i've wasted so much money on just stupid stuff today uh, but I do think, at least for me personally, that is going to be the best move. Wow, that was bad. Popping around, checking on all these boys. We've got one more row left here. Now, it does look like he's missed a little bit, but I'm probably not going to worry too much about that, at least right now. Because all this is going to be sold just to make a little bit extra cash. Also, we're at 61% here, but we've done a lot of the field. Yeah, I think he's going to be able to finish this field just fine. And we're actually rocking and rolling with the bailing as well. I'm we're moving forward a little bit faster, maybe, than I was expecting. I'm kind of getting in a, a groove. I think it's working well. Oh, yeah. Idiot number one over here has finished his task. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, straw swath, or turn it off, rather, because, uh, well, this is the last time this combine harvester is going to have to be used, which is kind of nice. Also, we got 76,000 liters of canola off that one field. Not bad. We'll see if we can make this carting happen here, uh, since I didn't actually do any carting. Canola! Where are we going to sell it? How much money are we going to make? Do we want to sell it right now? Yup, we sure do. So I do have the mod installed where you basically get great prices all the time. And it looks like Stone Valley Fuel Stop is the place, which is also uh, a bit of a worry considering that... Um, yeah, that... that, that this trailer doesn't work there. Here's where we're gonna have to play it up a little bit. So I need to pick up that semi truck in order to get a pallet under it. And I'm not quite sure if there's anywhere on the map that I could do that, but it's what I need. So what I might do is go ahead and, I don't know, cart with this guy a little bit, possibly just wait until this is finished. And then we'll go over there. Oh, we'll let this guy go just a little bit to kind of get that straw right at the end and got him believe it or not i actually need another one of these so there goes that but the great thing is i don't think that we need to actually do anything while i'm crazy with it this time i don't think i need any like connection 
to it. Please just give, let me in the truck, man. Here we go. This is where I would normally say, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but yeah, I, I'm very aware that this isn't going to work. All right, let's see what happens here. So I have leased this and eventually we will buy this, but at least for now, no buying, just leasing, but we've got it. Let's go and pick up the front loader that goes along with it. All right. Uh, you might be able to see what I'm getting at here. Actually, I found a very easier way to do this. Oh yeah. So I'm going to lift this up. <laughs> Should be able to lift it up just fine. It, yep, I was actually correct. Okay. And then we're just going to take this and slide it under there. Hopefully it doesn't clip with anything. And it's, what it's doing is clipping uh, a lot. Um, so how far will it go without clipping? Is that really it? Really? Come on, man. Oh, let's push it forward just a little bit and get it raised up. Just a little bit more. Come on. All I got to do is get it right there. Yes. And now all I got to do is get in the truck and, and dump. Please do, please, uh-oh. Please work. Um, oh, I'm in tip side back. Oh, it's gonna work. <laughs> oh, see this, this is quality right here. It worked, yes. Now I just gotta figure out how to slowly, oh, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, nope, I'm in the wrong vehicle there. Let's, let's see if we can walk that forward. Oh, we just better grab this and run. <laughs> you know, it'd be funny. We just kind of let this, let this go away. Well, oh, let's find out and see what happens. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, we'll go ahead and get rid of the loading pallet as well. And uh, now I think we're good. Now I gotta do just find a place for this to go be with its feelings again and sell some canola. And before we do that, I may as well dump this guy out as well. Did you know that you can attach things to TLX bodies and then just leave them sitting? <laughs> That's still attached. Easy to do. Actually works really nice for multiplayer or as a green bin on the side of the road. That works too. Ah, when was the last? I, I think I muted my microphone at some point. I don't know when. I'm so sorry. Um, ah, oh, crap. I, I don't, I don't know when I did. Ugh. Anyway, this is selling. Things are good. Oh boy. All right. Well, we made like 200 and something thousand dollars. That's nice to see. And I am now deleting the button on my foot switch that mutes the microphone because I'm an idiot. Now all that's left to do is make straw bales. And as fun as that's going to be, it doesn't make for riveting content. So I'm going to bail all this straw and then we'll see you. We'll see if I can crash this thing. Yeah.